Alright guys, this is going to be a quick comparison video between uh, my uh, Nike.com uh, Concord Low and my Finish Line uh, Concord Low. Uh, I found a few differences, um, mainly in the quality, but it really doesn't matter which retailer. It could be the other way around, it can be another one. Uh, the main point is sometimes, um, as most of you know, even through Nike, our direct sales and direct retailers, you might get some off pairs and some minor um, uh, defects or uh, sort of uh, imperfections. So let's get right into it. Uh, so the top box is the Nike.com. The bottom one is uh, finish line, absolutely identical. Uh, the one from Nike just have a little indent, uh, which it really doesn't matter. Um, uh, real quick, why did I uh, decide to double up on these? Uh, as most of you know, I'm not really following the hype. Not that this shoe is not very hyped, uh, just a lot less hype than the mid versions. Uh, and of course, you know, I never, never chased the mid versions, never even tried to cop uh, because I knew it's going to be hard. I knew it's going to be a hustle. I'm not paying over retail and all that. So, uh, you know, long story short, uh, I knew that lower versions will be a lot easier so I went for it I got two pairs of course whenever I have a chance I get two one to rock one to stock uh, you know this is uh, kind of like my thing so and I'm sure a lot of guys not just my thing but whatever uh, let's check them out real quick uh, this is the Nike.com pair uh, my Nike.com receipt everybody should know how this pair looks like by now but uh, uh, just I'm going to show the things that I've noticed uh, right off the back so if you look at the bottom you will see how the carbon fiber plate is shifted a little bit towards the medial side and in many pairs that came out before the release uh, people are saying you know oh if, if you're uh, hill pods and heel pod and, and forefoot pods are not lined up perfectly. Uh, probably your pair is fake or you know gray market or not legit or all that. But as you can see, even with legit pairs straight from Nike.com, you can hear the carbon fiber. Um, straight from Nike.com, the pods can be a little bit shifted. You know, this is a, a production a manufacturing uh, problem. You know, maybe their machines were not aligned or whatever, but the carbon fiber is just slightly off into the medial side. Uh, totally doesn't bother me. The other pair is perfect, so it's going to be stocked. And this one, I'm, I'm going to be rocking this summer or after that or whatever. So, other than that, no other problems with it. The patent leather is perfect. No glue marks. Midsole is perfect. Uh, no mid. Uh, per misperfections uh, or uh, the factory issues um, the carbon fiber placement on the you know heel not the heel the arch medial side looks fine the two three in the back plus the jump line looks fine um, as you can see I mean those ideas still the other ones too I haven't haven't had a chance to wear them um, but for me, other than uh, you know this small misalignment here, this pair is perfect. I'm not even um, gonna be worried about it or bother about it. And for the price those came, uh, I can't really can't really complain. Um, let me let me just uh, well, actually I just saw that a little bit of glue on the on the tongue here, but that's all right. That can be easily cleaned. And it's again, it's not a big problem. Plus, we all know how the quality is these days, so uh, nothing to be uh, worried about or nothing to be too um, frustrated and surprised. So, now to the finish line pair. So, if you look at the finish line pair, I'm gonna look at both. Just real quick, uh, patent leather perfect, no issues with the midsole, no coloring on the mesh, 
As you can see here, the carbon fiber plate is perfectly aligned on the heel pod and no other issues whatsoever in the back as well. It looks absolutely fine. Let me pull out the other one. Quickly see. Yep, same here. Pod is aligned correctly. With tiny bit move to the medium as well. Tiny bit, but nothing nothing like the Nike.com uh, pair. Uh, other than that, it looks pretty nice. Uh, nothing on the midsole. Patent leather is no scratches. Just a small drop here of a glue, which can be easily cleaned. No scratches, no imperfections or anything like that. Um, the back as well. Looks pretty nice. I gotta say, I mean, uh, I had a lot worse pairs received uh, past year and before. These are actually pretty pretty nice uh, with no defects or anything like that so I gotta say that's uh, it's been a good release for me and definitely you know I'm happy that I was able to get two of those uh, keep one on ice forever pretty much for me so the other one I can wear uh, put in a rotation and all that so that's that's pretty much it guys uh, you know Thank you very much for your attention and uh, head over to collectivekicks.com for more information on uh, sneakers, um, anything related to sneaker reviews, uh, sneaker history releases, uh, you know, interesting articles and all that. So uh, collectivekicks.com and until next time guys, uh, have a great day.